Hey guys, welcome back to more Invincible. So last episode, uh, Omni Man is still hella sus. Mm -hmm. We still don't know if he was lying or not. He said he he just blacked out and then bam, he everybody's, was, everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Yeah, like that makes perfect sense. Yeah, and then we got this visitor, mm -hmm. like a, a health inspector. inspector. Yep. Like just trying to make sure the planet has a protector, mm -hmm. but. He thought he was in Urath, er, yeah, er and, and he was expecting Omni-Man. That doesn't add up, mm -hmm. you know? What the hell's going on? Pretty much. So we can't wait to see what else they got for us. So with that being said, let's get on with this episode. Damn, for a second, I thought that was One Punch Man. Right? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's here? Is he flying with the jets? Mm -hmm. You fucking... Homelander motherfucker. I battled alien tyrants. Defeated nightmares from the deep. The Go deep? To the mm -hmm. ancient gods. Shout out to the boys. But no matter what threat I face, Red Nova, Martian Man, Immortal. He said Martian Man? An immortal? Today, Could have sworn I heard Manhunter. <laughs> This could happen to the Guardians of the Globe, it means that none of us are... Okay. Dude, those transitions are always, like, awkward. Like, the timing's just weird. Oh, Ooh. the detective demon. Insinuating something. Oh yeah, big time. Didn't mean to offend. Difficult for me. I love him. Something. He's definitely one of my favorite characters right, right now. You know, for a bunch of code, you run I think he's my only favorite so <laughs> far. I want you to come work for the GDA and build me a new Guardians of the Globe. And you'll pick the team. Ooh. You'll be in charge. Would Omni Man not be the natural choice? Sure. Except it's never going to happen. He's never taken orders. Not from me anymore. Ah. And I don't know what to say. He doesn't like being easy. bossed around. Say you'll do it. I'm not so easy to kill. Yeah, well, I'm sure that's what Red Rush told Olga. Hey, he could run fast, okay? It's not exactly one of your premier superpowers. Fuck off, Damn. dude. You, didn't you, you never seen the speed force, bitch. Mark and I can do more. You break more easily than you think. And I don't want a broken... Oh, family. they're spying on oh. them. Yeah, spy on Omni-Man, dude. He's sus AF. I was wondering if you were gonna call. Don't you mean when? Oh! Nah. I can think of a few reasons for it. Zazzy Beats. Strong, Who's that again? Open. Like, I know her, but I, like I, I forgot. I don't know the name. Uh, oh, the voice sounds familiar. Because I'm thinking either well, Canary wait. or Domino from Deadpool. No pressure. I thought you were at the funeral. I was. Uh-oh, what's I happening? Cheating? They're Is cheating. Is Rex around? Yeah. Yo! Oh shit. Drama! They were fucking. Piece of shit. Oh god. Oh, oh my shit. god, dude! I can't believe this. Oh, don't give me that. He wanted a foursome. It's not. We're not even the real Kate. We're all the real Kate. Okay, I, I didn't. <laughs> That's technically not what I. Never gonna have that again. Right. Damn, Kirkman, what the hell? You just fucked up two relationships. And Burley selected for the new Guardians of the Globe, which makes me wonder again why you won't try out. I'll still be around helping. Like his dad. What's the name of this guy, Chad? She's pissed. Boom! K.O. What's up with her? No idea! Uh huh! The Adam? She's their Adam Ant Man? Ooh, Captain Marvel? Monster Girl. Monster Girl? Look at her, she's adorable! We're about to see her power? No, you're here. Isn't there a dick size requirement? Ha! Motherfucking what the Thank you, I guess your power. Damn! Monster girl. She the Hulk? Uh-huh. Thank you all for coming today. We'll 
be making a public Bro, you chose all of the Teen Titans. Robot. I'm sure you've had a lot of experience wrangling teenagers, but I was with the guards. Cyborg? Cyborg! Dad, maybe if you didn't lose your in there to help the Guardians on their last day. Yeah, I'm Carrie gonna... Payton. So I'm gonna assume that Whenever I transform, I get younger. It's huh? part of the curse that gives me my powers, but I'm 24 years old. Oh, what the fuck? I'm a woman, but it got three exercises a day are too much for me. Yo, that power sucks. Guys who are interested are either going through puberty or popping up on sex offender registry. <laughs> I understand yeah. what it's like for the world to look at you and see one thing. How can you understand? You're a robot. That's, That's exactly idea. what he's talking about. Geek, is that Baymax? Okay. Right? So maybe Amber likes it's a skinnier too. form. Shit. Ooh, what move is that? Oh, shit! Nice. He drilled him. Oh, oh no! Fuck. Okay. Okay. Yo. Okay. Okay. Can he save him in time? Why? You want to die? Sure. Okay. What? No, he's what? I left a girl in your room while you flew off to deal with a crisis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. I mean, not good for her. That's the tricky part of the job. Okay, um, can we have this conversation later? With what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, you're not responsibilities that normal humans don't. Mm, right. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> story. Yeah. Of fatherly advice. You might want to change. True. Oh. Just this whole situation reminds me of like Spider Man. How he has to like quickly change from Spidey to Pete. I know. She dead ass liked him. Right? He's a fucking dick, dude. His costume and his powers are trash. Oh no. Oh damn. You tight. Damn, like Mark gets all the bitches, bruh. He's low key, Dick Grayson. <laughs> Stay back from the door. What happened? Sorry, Pete. Ugh! Oh, Why? Who did this? They're bulletproof. Weren't they bulletproof in like the first episode? That's what they were. Are they using them to test something out? Damn. Damn, bro. That's wow. Oh my god. There's a reason. Robot? Give me an update. But I feel confident in the progress we've made today. What the hell? Why? Oh. Oh. Detective Demon. I like how he interferes with technology too. You have a lovely home. Debbie? He's gone. All right. Thought I heard something. Does he know he was here? Yep. Yep. So they're building a new, a new super team. Super team. Mm -hmm. A new guardians. This episode is funny because it, it it dove a little bit into Mark's future social social life which is gonna be living as invincible mm -hmm. and as Mark and then obviously Those with are that gonna clash yeah with that comes the superhero responsibilities and his social life mm -hmm. so which one do you prioritize yeah like I said it's it's typical superhero you know, shit. superhero high school young yeah. hero whatever mm -hmm. Yeah, like Spider-Man. Yeah, it's whether and then it's it's really whether or not, like I said, what are you gonna prioritize? Like your superhero life or your personal life? It, right? He's gonna need to balance it. With most stories like that, mainly Spider-Man that I know is like, and you know Barry, because you know Barry he's the Flash. Yeah. Before him and Iris and shit, like they need to find a balance. Because both yeah. are important, mm -hmm. right? Their life as the real identity and then the superhero identity. Mm -hmm. But which girl's gonna win? I know. Because <laughs> I definitely don't see this thing with Eve ending anytime soon. 
because obviously their superhero life like mm-hmm. their their life going out fighting monsters villains whatever you want to call it right like they're gonna be working together a lot so obviously that's gonna interfere with his personal life girl amber right mm-hmm. so oh and i actually googled it uh the voice actress of amber is actually domino from deadpool so i was i was there you know because i was thinking either canary from birds of prey or, or domino, domino from deadpool and it, it is domino and then i like how we had more detective demon here yes because we are on his side we're trying to find out how the fuck this went about because mm-hmm. we know omni man is guilty right mm-hmm. he doesn't but he's still trying to figure it out and then along the way i'm sure He's going to figure out why Omni-Man did this. Yeah. And it's just like, I, I like the way they went about it. I like how he's popping up more, mm-hmm. trying to find clues, he's trying to find answers. Character. Yeah, for sure. Because, like, I, I just like him. It's interesting the way he's going about it. He's a detective demon for mm-hmm. crying out loud. Like, he's... He's just doing his job. He's just really doing his job. And he's trying to get answers. And that starts with, obviously, the family. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, interviewing the wife. Like, maybe he said something to calm her nightmares, calm her fears. Because, like she said, that could have been him that they were burying. Yeah. Not the not the guardians. Like, he could have been there, but he also said, like, I'm not that easily... I can't get killed that easily. Yeah. So, it goes to show, like, clearly he had something to do with this because he's the only one left. Mm-hmm. And then what was that deal with Robot? At the end. Yeah, what what's up Why with Why did robot? he free that villain? Is it to test the new guardians? Right? Is that is that it? I'm curious to like what he's up to. Mm-hmm. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode and we'll see you guys in the next video.